we're moving over to Audi because they've uh, they've really brought out something slick. Uh, they it's have. A, it's a 2025 RS6 Avant, which I think means f- go fast. Yeah. Um, and a GT, and it's um, it's a tribute car. I yeah. I think that's safe to say. Yeah, uh, it's a limited edition for sure. Right, but- Eighty of them. Right. But this is just not a handful of decals. This uh, has 621 horsepower. It is the quickest RS6 Avant version to date. 0 to 60 in 3.2. Bi-turbo V8, 621 horsepower, 627 pound-feet of torque with a top track speed of 190. And, of course, Go is not fun if you don't have Woe, so... Standard carbon ceramic brakes and dramatic increased driving dynamics via adjustable coilover suspension and optimized Quattro Sport differential. Incredible that you can buy both of this, the ZR1 and this, uh, <laughs> you know, from the factory, isn't it? From the factory. Um, and, and, and you know, we need to mention something like that. The, the ZR1 also has incredible brakes. If you drive something really, really fast, um, you, you, th- you only then do you appreciate how important brakes are because you can cover a terrifyingly large amount of distance trying yes. to stop these things if, yes. if you don't have the right brakes. and. Uh, many, many people have been killed when they've thrown, you know, big engines in cars and they haven't done anything with the brakes. And, oh, there's some uh, videos on YouTube about that, about guys that, yep. you know, oh, I've got this uh, supercharged engine. And then you look down and he's got the brakes from a Miata or something. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, that wasn't right. that wasn't as much fun as as the big blower on there. But, you know. Hey, it make it makes sense. Also, if you put big wheels on a vehicle, if you like really upsize the wheels, that's a lot of unsprung weight, and you better yep. you better do some braking upgrades. You you got to learn about weight transfer. I mean, these these things will, you know, there's a well, lot of engineering in it. Anyway, well, once again, look at the stance the from the factory on this RS6 Avant GT. Really, really cool. Yep. Uh, of course, it's got the permanent all-wheel drive Quattro, an eight-speed Tiptronic gearbox, optimized shift times. I I bet this thing is fun to drive. I would like this without the white wheels and just regular paint without the decals on it. That's what I would like. Yeah, this this would be fun to drive. I I I would be well. If I hit a pothole, I think it would kill me. <laughs> I think the wheel would come through the top of the fender. That's, it's yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, this is not um, this is not a commuter car into the city. No, but uh, I I have to say I've driven Avants and the Avant. I think there was a Avant All Road that I had a long time ago. Yeah, and I was just it was beautiful. I loved it. It was one of my favorite press cars of all time. I remember it. I had it in the snow and it did well in the snow. It had winter tires I, on it. I had one at the same time, um, testing it, and yeah, and it was, it was delightful. Yeah, beautiful V eight in it, and uh, just just incredible. But yes, a uh, handful, eighty five units in the U S. of that beautiful Avant, and so I would say uh, it's probably going to cost a lot of money. Well, I can tell you just how much it's going to cost. How's that? How much? 100, 198900 Remember when 100000 was a lot of money? It doesn't seem <laughs> like it now, does it? <laughs> no, no, it yeah. doesn't. Well, the, the, yeah, that will be on cruise control in 10 years. Yeah, the average transaction price is $128,000. <laughs> wow. And, yeah. and by the way, that's just the MSRP. you you, you got to deal with the, the tax and the insurance and the, you know, floor mats <laughs> <laughs> and um, the uh the uh what do they call it the market adjustment the, the market, market ad- adjustment you're look you're talking a quarter million yeah exactly 